we're in the final hours of summer. The autumnal equinox will take place overnight tonight, early tomorrow at 2.50 a.m. And that is when the sun's direct rays will be right over the equator region. Of course, equinox, Latin for the word equal, which means basically we have equal day, equal darkness, and it's pretty well the same all throughout our planet. So again, we are looking forward to the start of the fall season this weekend, which we're also going to expect really nice weather for the first uh, day of fall as well. Temperatures outside, at least we've had a little bit of a hint of summer again after that stretch of cooler weather last week, early this week, things have warmed up quite a bit. So it has felt a little bit like summer if you're not a, if you're not ready to totally let go of summer yet, we've had a little bit more summer out there yesterday. You look at these temperatures. Thursday, we made it as warm as 86 in Deschler, around 85 yesterday for Delphus and Bluffton. 82 was the official high for Lima, 84 Salina, 84 as well in Upper Sandusky. So it was warm yesterday, but you know, these temperatures don't feel bad, especially this time of year when the air is so dry, not to mention how dry the ground is, and that just further kind of exacerbates the dryness that we're seeing out there with those humidity levels very low. As we look outside this morning, it is very nice, comfortable outside. Temperatures right around 60 to the upper 50, 61 Lima, 60 Delphus. We have 55 for Ottawa, 57 Bluffton. So a very nice morning out there. We are looking at mostly clear skies. Clouds continue to thin out. We're going to get away to lots of sunshine today. You will, you will note a couple things here. Some rain over parts of Illinois, which has just been sitting here since yesterday. And we also have this system spinning over the Atlantic, expected to become a tropical storm as we head into the weekend. You can see rainfall not here, but you can see off to the west of us, we've had these slow moving systems bringing some rain over parts of Illinois yesterday. In fact, even this morning, still some rain there where we've had as much as two and a half inches there around Lincoln, Illinois. But for us, we're going to totally miss out on the rain. We've had that system forming in the Atlantic, expected to head north into the weekend, bringing a very soggy weekend for the East Coast. The only impact for us will be a cooler air mass on the back side of this developing storm. The wind flows counterclockwise around a low. So on the back side, you get that north flow. And for us, the impact's going to be a Canadian air mass moving in. It's going to bring drier air behind it and allow for some really comfortable weather this weekend. So the expectation is that today will be the last day of the 80s before we cool down tomorrow. We'll see temperatures 77 by noon, 81 by 4 o'clock. Lots of sunshine today, very dry air. So a really nice Friday, and we've got a great evening for high school football. Oh, it's going to be perfect out there. 80, as we look at the evening forecast, 72 degrees at 8 o'clock, and we'll see temperatures at 65 by 10. So just very pleasant conditions for us. And as we look at temperatures moving forward, we note the 80s this afternoon give way to temperatures that are a bit cooler tonight. And we're going to continue to see a cooling trend through the weekend because I mentioned that storm developing on the East Coast. We're going to get a north, north flow of wind behind that. So that's why we're going to see those temperatures gradually fall. You notice that the wind arrows here coming more to the east and northeast tomorrow. It does become breezier tomorrow too. But look at the forecast. I mean, we've got sunny skies all around. It's going to be a beautiful weekend with lots of sunshine out there and very, very dry air as well. And one note, too, we're going to have an, an elevated fire risk because of how dry everything is. We're going to have very low humidity levels and kind of a breezy wind, too. So just be careful out there, especially if you're going to be out grilling. Uh, just keep in mind anything, any, any spark could quickly form into a fire because things are so dry. So just something to keep in mind. Temperature-wise, you note for the month so far, we started September pretty warm. We had that cool down the last uh, couple of weeks here, but we did see that temperature climb the last couple of days. And today will be the last day of those highs in the 80s because moving forward we've got almost perfect temperatures as we get into the late part of this month we'll see 75 for tomorrow and sunday again a perfect weekend for outdoor plans and as we move forward into next week we know a few more clouds a weak system will spin over the area bringing low rain chances on a daily basis from tuesday onward